teams as last time either of these teams suited up was in 1920 and it was in the playoffs. Buzzers were on the way of, or they were, they did sweep the Toronto Patriots and the Junior Canadians were on the other end of a sweep with the North York Rangers, but that all doesn't matter now. There's some new faces on each team and we're ready for puck drop here at St. Michael's College School Arena. Toronto Junior Canadians to your left in the white sweaters and blue pants. St. Michael's Buzzers to your right, light blue sweaters, dark blue pants. And we are underway. Canadians trying to flip it ahead. Buzzers trying to chip it towards the goal. Now it's broken up and bringing it the other way are the Junior Canadians. Matthew Wilde playing it off on the wing. Dumps it in deep, picked off by the Buzzers. Can't get it past the blue line. Marcelidi and Katz, the starting defense pair for St. Michael's. Broken up by the Canadians in the far corner. Comes back to the point. A long shot through traffic over top of the net. Bertrand's shot on a rebound. Just ends up in the corner and Judd Katz has it for St. Michael's. This pass missed Martino. And 37 seconds into period number one, that icing against St. Michael's will bring the puck yeah, back into their end. The first meaningful action in. as uh, Junior Canadians make a switch here and the buzzer is forced to keep the unit out due to the icing. Face off to the left of Cole Moore. Buzzers control it. Whipped around the boards by Marcelitti. Katz had his stick, Brown had his stick slashed out of his hand. Scooped up by the Canadians and shipped right back in by Heinrich. We're working without lineup cards tonight, as you can probably understand. Canadians chip it in. Marshall Liddy slaps it around the boards. Trying to get the puck to the Summers. Brad Summers, the new buzzer's captain, left-handed shot. Works around his man and fires, not the blocker of Selby Warren. First shot on goal for either team. Buzzers trying to hem it in the Canadians' end. Okay, Canadians can't get it past the buzzer's face-off circle and a shot was blocked. Canadians follow up and play it the other way. Buzzers are looking for a chance to change here. They don't get their opportunity yet. Bringing it back into the buzzers and a shot whipped wide of the blocker side. That was Matt Miller to let that one go. Now the buzzers play it ahead here. Summers again. Summers fires and scores. Brad Summers. If you had him in your first goal of the season poll, you just hit the jackpot. A minute 42 in. one nothing. St. Michaels. Yeah, just a great goal and it's the captain. Brad Somers who opens up the score in here. A great heads up play from the back end, feeding it up ice and they catch the junior Canadians on a line change and it's one nothing for the buzzers. Summers doesn't have his line mates from last year but he made it happen on his own there. It takes 102 seconds for the buzzers to find that first goal of the season. And they'll be looking for more but they've drawn that important first yes. blood. Somers in 1920 had 56 points in 54 games, so look for him to be a big piece on this new look Buzzers team as he captains this group. Yeah, tons of new faces out there. Even us announcers are trying to corral everybody. Do our best here. Canadians have it to start. We hit the two minute mark here of period number one. Chipped in by the Canadians. Trying to play it around the boards there was Kidd. Now the buzzers have it at their own blue line. They'll flip it in. Not quite enough for an icing. Chasing it down will be Brandon Cohen throwing a hit. Cohen trying to jar it free. Now the Canadians flip it out. And this one's going to roll wide of the net and be an icing against the visitors. 2.20 gone by in the first faceoff coming in the junior Canadians end. Yeah, that first goal's got the junior Canadians on their heels there. Good strong shift following up that goal there by the buzzers as Brandon Cohen got low. He forced the the defender to ice the puck there and face off to uh, Selby Warren's left. Buzzers won the draw. Canadians ended up with the puck. They work it as far as center. Penalty coming up to St. Michael's, so the goalie to the bench. Probably going to be for a trip or a hook right near the Canadians' bench. The Canadians will send six out there and catch the buzzers napping, but it's off the skate of Marcelini, which will whistle the play dead, and 2.42 into period number one. First penalty kill of the season coming up for St. Michael's. Yeah, and I believe it's going to be a trip here on Kalen Chen as Junior Canadians will go to the power play here. Obviously, 
It's been 577 days since one of these teams was on a meaningful power play, so throw away all the statistics. It's a new team here, and uh, we'll see how the first power play goes here for the Junior Canadians. Draw will be to the right of Cole Moore. Canadians control it off the draw. From the point, letting it go, and that's whistled just wide. Ben Watershoot has it. Throwing it in front, and a good pad save from Moore. Got that left pad on it. Tipped out. Given the goal to Martino, but we pretty clearly saw it on the stick of 14. Yeah, it's been a while for everyone here. They'll definitely get that one corrected. Yeah, so for the time being, it's Giacomo Martino who has the buzzers up 1-0, but we expect that to end up being Brad Summers' goal. 100%. Slap shot from the point. Moore trying to smother it up, and he'll finally get that mid on top of it. Minute 23 left on the power play. Yeah, good work there. Cole Moore finding that loose puck, grabbing it and getting the whistle there. Buzzer is scrambling a little. They'll switch up the unit there and get some fresh guys out. 123 to go on the man advantage for the Junior Canadians. Buzzer's fighting for the draw. It ends up back at the point. Ben Ben Water shoots shot off the left pad of Cole Moore. That left pad's been busy in the first three and a half minutes. But he's got the buzzers up 1-0. Fighting for it down in the offensive end are the buzzers. There's Jared Pacimiglio out there killing the penalty. Now the Canadians come in offside. Buzzers can change if they want. A minute two left on the power play. Yeah, not the ideal power play so far for the junior Canadians as they're having trouble setting up here. Buzzers doing a good job pressuring them, not forcing them easy entries or even forcing them, or sorry, have it, allowing them for to have an easy time in the offensive end. Canadians get the draw. The first power play of the game is half expired. Trying to work it ahead, good move there. Bringing in is Jake Sederov, and the shot was off the side of the net. Canadians will get back to the point, Bertrand keeps it in. Kukafuza plays it in behind the net. And right there is Eric Vitali, back to the point for Bertrand. Going into the slot, shot right on off the blocker of Moore. Another save on the rebound, Cole Moore off to a Roaring start in his first OJHL action. Great save by Cole Moore there through traffic. He's been perfect so far, and they've needed him to be. Fukufuza trying to work it back for Eric Vitali. Now Fukufuza has it. Back to the point, letting it go there was Efimovsky. Another shot wide of the net. Canadians throwing everything at the net. They're still down a goal. Bertram plays it off. Gets a return pass, but it's broken up nicely there. And Buzzers are able to clear. And that's going to be an icing against the Canadians. 447 gone by in the first, and the draw will come all the way back. Yeah, successful penalty kill there. Great work by the Buzzers. And Cole Moore on the, in the net there, making a couple great saves for the Buzzers. But Buzzers, for the most part, keeping the junior Canadians to the outside, not giving them much, and they still remain up 1-0. Summers gets enough to win the faceoff. Bryce Sutherland trying to throw it in front. Nobody was home. Now Sutherland gets a return pass and he shots off the blocker of Warren and out of play. Five minutes gone by in the first. Has a couple shifts so far, but this line of Sommers, Stewart, and Bryce Sutherland have been clicking well there as Brad Sommers centers that pass to Bryce Sutherland. A nice quick shot. Selby Warren tested there as he makes the shoulder save. When's the last time you saw three line mates with the same initials? Yeah, that is definitely a rarity. Didn't think of that one. <laughs> it's the English major in me. Now, the, uh, now it's Sparks for the buzzers flipping it in. Played a little over five here in the first period. There's a shot just wide off the stick of Stewart. Shot through a crowd held onto by Warren. I guess Ben Stewart is a full-time forward now. He shifted a little bit last year between defense and forward. And yeah, a line work. spot. Yeah, that line working really well. They won the draw and they went back to work. They got another shot on goal. Selby Warren up to the task, forcing the junior Canadians to switch up the unit here as buzzers seem to have them in the offensive end right now. Summers will step in and take the draw. And he'll win it back to the point. Trying to keep it in there are the buzzers. And he's trying to knock it free. They finally gain possession. And they will sneak it as far as center ice. And here comes Haldenby. Haldenby shot wide of the net. Buzzers follow up on the rebound. They get it to Summers. Off for Stewart. 
Stewart shot held on to by Warren. 14-17 left in the first. Yeah, Buzzers with the right idea early on. Just get the puck towards the net. Anything can happen. Even these offensive zone face-offs play into their favor. Obviously, whenever you're in that offensive zone, any face-off or shot on goal is a plus. As Bianconi goes in for the draw now. Julian Bianconi on the draw. Loses it there to Ben Van Watershoot. Say that 10 times fast. Played in behind the Canadiens' net and it rolls back out to the buzzers at center. Brandon Cohen trying to get it in deep as he took the pass from Thomas Grossi. Collision at center there. Colliding there was Riley Sutherland, Bryce's brother. Buzzers roll it in. Sutherland follows up and the shot's off the stick of Warren. Following up there is Bianconi. Decent pace to the first six and a half minutes of this game. Buzzers have found the only goal and killed the only penalty. Go back to the point, slapped by Marcelitti. Snuck it through, but the Buzzers couldn't tap in the rebound. Canadians bring it back to center. Here's Catalano. Now the Buzzers with it again. Again, only getting it as far as center. Riley Sutherland lost it, and here's Catalano. His shot off the stick of Moore. The Canadian fan on an attempt to get it in deep, and the Buzzards have it. Played up the middle, it's picked off by the Canadian. Jake Sederoff. Now they can start out. Here's Eftimoski. Rolling it in, and here's Ben Ben Watershoot. Katz picks it up for St. Michael's, bringing it back the other way. I was looking in, it's Kalen Chen. Now the Canadians with it behind the net. Team straight in possession here. Hayden Heinrich plays it ahead. Here the Canadians rolling it in behind the buzzer's goal. Fighting to get it free and shipping it past the blue line of the buzzers. Starting out again is Cooper Bertrand for the Patriots trying to maneuver around the buzzer's attack. Here's Beck Carsley trying to defend. Here's Wilde for the, pit, the buzzers, and that shot was blocked off a skate. Wilde plays it behind the net. Jake Sederov fighting for it in the corner. Now Loretto lets the shot go. Went wide. Here come the buzzers the other way. Trying to look at him deep was Giacomo Martino. They will get it in behind the, buzz, the Canadian's net. Approaching eight and a half minutes gone by here in period number one. Roll back in and Ryan Kidd plays ahead for St. Michael's. Bringing in there's Jared Pacioniglio, number 12, right in his shot, plays it in as far as the faceoff dot. Aggressive forecheck by the Buzzers forwards in the first approaching nine minutes of this game. And they forced a few turnovers. Patriots have it in deep. Podolski now a shot off the stick handled easily by Cole Moore. And the buzzers can start out. Rossi got it as far as center. Now he goes back for it at his own faceoff circle. Pass went off a skate and losing it there. Dangerous play by Pachamiglio, but buzzers survive. And they roll it in. 10.50 to go in the first. Here's Haldenby for the Canadians playing it in around to the side. And now Cole Moore has to make another save with his blocker. Does a little trapped in their own end here. Long shot, bunted towards the net. Rebound, thrown over top of the goal. Great chance there for the Canadians to even it up. There's Jeremy Bigris. Trying to get it free as Judd Cass gets it to Luca Marcelitti. Marcelitti, one of the few remaining holdout holdovers from the last time we spoke, almost 600 days ago in the photo. Rolls in on Warren, he gloves it down, plays it ahead. The Canadians bring it to center. Rolling it in around the goal. Fighting for it behind the net, it's going to squirt free, and Cole Moore is going to throw his mid on top of it. And a much needed stoppage for both teams after a long stretch. Yeah, a long break between whistles there and probably plays into the buzzer's favor as a couple tough zone exits there led to some chances for the junior Canadians, but Cole Moore was up to the task there. And 
They'll look to clean up in the defensive zone here as Junior Canadians was trying to come on to even this game. Summers wins the draw against Ben Watershoot. And now bringing it ahead of the buzzers, Ben Stewart. And the buzzers are going to be called for an offside. Face off will come back outside. <laughs> Summers will step in and take another draw against Van Watershoot. And the Canadians come away with the puck. Rolling it in there was Podolski. Picked up by Matt Milic of the buzzers. Gets it as far as the blue line. Bertrand held it in. Around the boards. Now coming out of the corner with it, but unable to do anything with it. And so, uh, Stewart able to play it ahead. Bryce Sutherland goes into the attack zone. Summers tried to throw a hit. It comes free for Rossi. Rossi tried to sidestep his man. Back to the point. Sutherland shot right on. And finally throwing the mitts on top of it is Selby Warren. Yeah. They stop coming in the Patriots. Er, Again, this buzzers. line. Canadians end, excuse me. Again, this line with the three Bs, as Matt pointed out, as with the first name there, Sutherland, Somers, and Stewart. Yeah, they go to work. Every time they're out there, they're hunting pucks down. They're getting them at the net. Selby Warren's got to be ready for those ones as they're throwing them off, off guard there with a couple split-second shots. As yeah, we're going to have to avoid calling them the BS line. But. Canadians control it off the draw. Long drive, whistled wide of the net. And behind the goal. Trying to work it back for Grassi on the point. Trying to keep it in there was Ryan Kidd, but they're gonna say he didn't. 8.53 left in the first. As you see here, the buzzer's wearing the alumni jerseys here, so Ryan Kidd, Currently wearing Andrew Cogliano. Yeah, it's not making our job hard at all. Yeah, one of the all-time great buzzers. But apparently he's playing defense tonight. Yeah, we got it's Frank right. Mahovlich out there, 27. Yeah. But tonight, Cogliano playing on the back end. Hey. Ryan Kidd. <laughs> it's a nice look, though. I like, the, I like the light blue. Yeah, definitely could go with more powder in our lives. Great colorway. The, the buzzers are bringing to us here today. I don't know if it's coming through on the video, but the socks are there. Approaching eight and a half to go here in the first. Riley Sutherland with it behind the net. Into the corner. Trying to jar it free. Four bodies go in there, and it's a white sweater emerging with the puck. Canadians get it as far as center. They're trying to stay on side, and the officials say they just did. Canadians go back into their own zone for it. Jordan Fielding lost it in his own, at his own blue line, and the buzzers are able to get it in deep. Canadians roll it back into the buzzer's end. Marcelitti able to backhand it into the neutral zone. And getting it in deep there are the buzzers. That shot could have taken a bounce on Warren there, but came free, and the Canadians have it. Here's Haldenby. Haldenby's pass broken up nicely. Back into the slot and shot over top of the net. Marcelitti trying to throw his weight around and kick it free. Kalen Chen in there to help out. The shot was stopped by Moore easily. The buzzer's able to play it to center. Canadians with a little bit of jump in their step now. They're still down a bowl. Approaching 13 minutes gone by here in the Fairly quickly moving first period. Buzzers chip it in, Andrew Chang. Seems like every shift we're following a name for the first time. But Andrew Chang plays it in deep for St. Michael's, number 18. Milich and Sparks are the defense pair. Jack Sparks, number five, listed six foot seven, 230 pounds. I That's probably wouldn't want to be hit by him. There's a pass into the slot and a shot off the stick and it's gonna Rifle out of play. 6.48 remaining yeah, in cement. period number one. Just to mention, yeah, the buzzer's big blue line there with Jack Sparts. They also have Aiden Shepard who's scratched tonight. He stands at six foot five. So some big defensemen on this buzzer's blue line this year, which hard to play against, especially in a rink like this at St. Michael's. Very tight quarters. Definitely hard to maneuver around some of the bigger defensemen in this arena. Draw to the left of Fulmore. 
They chip it as far as center. Three in the neutral zone. Canadians trying to get it past center, but the buzzers being aggressive and now throwing their weight around a little bit too. Brown with a nice bit of contact there. Canadians just staying on side. Pukukaza's shot off the blocker of Cole Moore. Now played ahead, here's a chance for Martino. He's hauled down, arm goes up, smothered up. And we're gonna have some sort of penalty against the junior Canadians. Be a tripping call with 6.14 left in period number one. Yeah, great play by Martino there, chipping it by and forcing him to take him down. And that is indeed the brother of Ayrton Martino, former buzzer, who's set to start his collegiate career tomorrow night for the Clarkson Gold Knights and congrats to him on being drafted third round in the NHL entry draft by the Dallas Stars. Bright future ahead for Ayrton and Giacomo looks to follow in his footsteps. Yeah, a lot of the last names may be familiar in, in our lineup cards this year. They're not necessarily the guys you might remember from, la from two years ago. But. So the buzzers to their first power play this season. Marcelitti's shot went wide. And even in the early stages, the four forward, one defenseman attack back in play for St. Michael's. Marcelletti's shot was blocked, deflected wide. Sutherland picks it up. Knocked down there with Stewart, back for Sutherland. Sutherland back for Summers. Summers now throwing it in front for, for the other Sutherland. So that won't be confusing at all. Here's a chance for Marcelitti. Off on the wing, suck Bryce out on the shot. Blocked by Warren. Thrown in front. Trying for that backdoor pass. Uh, how did he stop that one? That was a great save by Selby Warren there, cross crease. Warren holding them in. A minute gone by in the power play. Canadian shorthanded. Penalty to Michael Etimovsky. We're about to have five minutes to go here in period number one. Because we're still up 1-0 on a goal that we expect to belong to Brad Summers. Flipping it in, Martino. Jack Sparks goes to the point for St. Michael's. If his height's any indication, I'm sure he's got a rocket. <laughs> this one's going to be whistled down with 23 seconds remaining on the power play. Yeah, a good look at that first unit there. They had a couple great chances in around the goal crease, just unable to finish, but good zone time by the buzzers, good puck movement around. And they got, they definitely have the junior Canadians on their heels on this penalty kill. Canadians get enough of the draw to gain possession and they're able to ice the puck. Sparks goes back for it for St. Michael's. Buzzers rolling it in, Martino. Got as far as the face, top of the faceoff circle, but Canadians able to get it out. And it's gonna do it for the first power play. So both teams 0 for 1 on the power play. Buzzers still holding a 1-0 lead, just over four minutes left here in period number one. Buzzers grab it at center, rolled back in. Kid plays it ahead, Miss Martino with the pass, and this will be an icing against the Buzzers. The face-off will come back. Yeah, Sparks trying to go for the home run pass there, just missed it, or Giacomo could have been well on his way down the wing, but the Buzzers find themselves stuck out there as on the icing call, no line change, so Junior Canadians looking to capitalize here on an offensive zone draw. Ordinarily late in the first period, I like to give the out-of-town scoreboard, but nothing seems to be updating on the OJHL website. This game included. We knew that was the case in the preseason, but I guess we're still having trouble there. Heavy slate of games tonight. I believe this is one of eight games. Bodies converge at center. It finally squirts free for Riley Sutherland. Left-handed shot coming in with a blast and that's blocked. It's going to end up on the, under the mitt of Selby Warren and he'll hold for a draw in the Canadian's end. And that was a new addition. Riley Sutherland let one go there. He came over from the 1920 season, playing for the Fort Erie Meteors in the Junior B GOJHL. And uh, that shot didn't get through there, but he'll be one of the older guys that the Buzzers will be leaning on for some production. Canadians play it in. Trying to get there is Judd Katz. And he's able to get it just past the blue line. 
Canadians chip it in just over three minutes to go in the period. Next Buzzers game after tonight will be this Sunday afternoon. We'll have it for you at 2 p.m. when the Buzzers take on another rival, the Mississauga Chargers. Again, 2 o'clock Sunday afternoon. Canadian blew a tire in the corner, but still on it behind the net. It's Christian Catalano, and he plays it in behind the net for Ben Ben Watershoot. Ben Watershoot back to the point after Moski's shot was blocked. Following up is Christian Catalano, number 23, and he has passed, missed his man, and ends up back in the neutral zone. Riley Sutherland plays it in. Canadians couldn't pounce and set up an odd man rush, but Buzz is able to slap it in and get almost a full change with 2.20 left in the first. Canadians starting out of their own zone. Chipped off the boards to center. Bringing it in is Sederov, dropping it back for Kukakuza. Bodied there, and Buzz is finally able to gain possession. Matt Milich plays it ahead. Here's Ben Stewart. Shot whistle wide. Stewart listed in the official lineup as a defenseman, but we've seen him out there taking forward, exclusively forward shifts here. So maybe he plans to be that versatile seventh defenseman, 13th forward kind of guy. But normally when you go out of the single digit sweaters on this team, that means you've gra graduated to forward. But we'll see what the season brings. Rossi plays it behind the net. Buzzers start out, 80 seconds to go in the first. Rolled in, chance for Summers. The Canadians are on it. Bringing in is Carter Real, and his shot snared easily by Cole Moore, who's looked strong in the first 19 minutes of this game. Yeah, with just a minute 10 to go here in the first. Great period for the Buzzers, that's all you could ask for. They're up, there's a minute to go here. They just gotta lock it down here for the final minute and hopefully take a lead into this intermission. Face off to the left of Cool Moore. I seem to remember closing out periods being a little tough for this team last year. So, yeah, very we'll important see. to close out those periods for sure. As we go into the final minute, of period number one. I'll just work it around, pass him into the slot, back to the point, slapped by Kid. That was stopped. I don't think Warren saw it. Another penalty coming to the Canadians. 49 seconds left, so this one should carry over into period number two, 49 seconds left. Yeah, it looks like the junior Canadians are gonna head off for uh, on a hooking call here. So the buzzers back to the power play here. So they get another go at it. Currently up one to nothing as it's Keen Haldenby who's heading to the box for hooking for the junior Canadians. And face will come to the left of Selby Warren as buzzers deploy their unit. Buzzers control the draw, slapped by Sparks, wide of the blocker's side. Sparks patrolling that point, the way Ben Lauer did the last time we had a game in this building. Canadians play it down the ice. Yeah, that shot from Sparks didn't miss by much. Pretty strong slap shot there from Sparks, as maybe we'll see more of that as the season goes on. Yeah, he's certainly built for it. 23 seconds left, period. Shot was blocked. Ryan Haldenby in the box, just 13 seconds left. Buzzers looking for one before.